Hi guys, Sir Eric here. So our question is, how can Pivoks locate earthquake epicenter? The answer is, they use triangulation. But what is triangulation? Triangulation is a method used to locate epicenter. It needs three seismic stations that record the seismic waves of an earthquake. It came from the root word triangle because it has three corners. However, it has nothing to do with triangle. Rather, it uses three circles that intersect at a single point. So how to do triangulation? First, let's say there was an earthquake happened here in the Philippines and we want to know where the location of that earthquake. So first thing you need is a map and a seismic station. A seismic station is a place where you have a seismogram, let's say in Manila. So the first question is, how far is the earthquake from Pivox, Manila? This will be the first question that you need to know, that you need to answer before knowing the, earth, the earthquake epicenter. So to answer this question, you need the seismogram. The seismogram will give you the seismic waves wherein there is a difference between the P wave and the S wave. So in this case, we have 20.8 seconds as the time difference. So Station Manila will report time difference of 20.8 seconds. So are we going to use this one? We're going to use formula D is equal to TD over 8 seconds times 100 kilometers. We're in this TD is time difference so we're going to substitute 20.8 seconds to this td so substituting we, we get d is equal to 20.8 seconds over 8 seconds times 100 kilometers doing the math then we have 2.6 times 100 kilometers and further operating this one we have d is equal to 260 kilometers therefore the distance of the earth week from manila is 260 kilometers so we're going to measure 260 kilometers from Manila. So it could be this way. However, we are not sure if this is 260 kilometers to the east or 260 kilometers to the north or to the west or to the south. So to be sure, we're going to draw a circle with a radius of 260 kilometers, meaning the earthquake happened somewhere here along this circle. Of course, this is not good because there is no earthquake that has this kind of epicenter. So that is the time we need to ask for another time difference. So we have Puerto Princesa Palawan as our next station. Let's say Palawan gave you a time difference of 20.0 seconds. Then we have to use again the formula D is equal to TD over 8 seconds times 100 kilometers. And we're going to substitute 20.0 seconds to dd again. So doing the math, we get d is equal to 250 kilometers. Therefore, the distance of the earthquake from Palawan is 250 kilometers. Now again, we're going to draw a line with a radius of 250 kilometers. So again, it could be to this way or up here or here or here so we're going to use or we're going to draw a circle with a radius of 250 kilometers and to where these circles meet or intersect that is the earthquake epicenter however in this case we have two epicenters one is here and the other one is here of course this is not possible there is again there is no earthquake that has two epicenters so that is up the problem in having only two seismic stations. If you have two seismic stations, we apparently have two epicenters, which is not possible. So we need the third station to confirm the location, hence the method is called triangulation. So let's say we have the third station, which is Davao. So let us ask this third station for the time difference. And let's say Davao reported 24 0.0 seconds as the time difference. Again, using the formula 
and substituting the values or 24.0 seconds divided by 8 seconds times 100 kilometers will give you D is equal to 300 kilometers. Therefore, the distance of the earthquake from Davao is 300 kilometers. Now we're going again to draw a circle with a radius of 300 kilometers. So in this case, the three circles intersected at a single point which is Iloilo City. Therefore, the earthquake happened at Iloilo City. So again, the steps in triangulation are Number one, have three different seismic stations. Number two, identify the time difference between P wave and S wave in each station. Number three, compute the distance of the earthquake from each station using the time difference. Number four, draw a circle with a radius equal to the computed distance around each station, making it the center of the circle. Number five, the epicenter of the earthquake is where the three circles intersect. And that is triangulation.